How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Doing all right? Yeah, doing good. Did you have breakfast already? I did. Okay, good. Sorry, because I, I wouldn't call it breakfast. Yeah. I'd call it a little, little a, snackety snack. Yeah, snack. a little bacon. <laughs> oh, that was good bacon too. Oh, was it? Yeah. Because sometimes you, sometimes, okay, are you like a, a rubbery, chewy bacon guy or are you a crispy? I like when I bite it, it, it breaks in half, yeah. it crumbles into a million pieces. Not crumbles into a million pieces, but yeah. I like for it to snap off. Okay. Of course, I could eat it anyway if I have to chew right. it like jerky or. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Bacon is the only food that you put on food to make food better. You know what I mean? Like... Just when I thought you couldn't say anything brilliant. <laughs> you totally redeem yourself. Yeah, that's right. Think about it for a minute, though. It's literally the only food you put on food to make it food better. Okay. Hey, listen, we got, uh, we're going to do some real mechanicking today. Well, we're not going to mechanic. We're going to remove a. We're going to remove a part. We're going to remove a, a, a transmission. A transmission out of a G3 skitter. All right. It's going to uh, go to a shop, and they're going to go through it right. and make sure if it's okay, they won't do anything right. to it, rebuild it. But they'll put the parts that they need to in it, and then they'll put it in one of their machines or sell it to the public. Right. Take theirs in on trade, rebuild theirs. They always like to keep one or two on the floor. Sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the TYM T574. We're going to take it off. We're going to use it to, to, to get the transmission out of the skitter. I've got the Homestead forks and the Homestead tiller on the back because that tiller weighs about 900 pounds, something like that. So that's good ballast. Hook the chains up to the forks. Get that sucker out of here. We'll be out of here in 30 minutes. Yeah. Let's walk over and look at it. All right. Well, let's take a look at it right quick. Follow us. <laughs> All right. You remember the H model cutter that we tipped the cab on? I do. Yeah. So this, this, this cab will tilt, it'll come this way. And the transmission, of course, is under the cab, which easy access, that, they did a, a good thing when they created these tilt cabs. Right. This skitter right here would probably been a good skitter to go through and put back together. Right. But he just, you know, I just couldn't get it sold to somebody to do that because you can just get so much in them. But the pieces are going to put other machines back together. That's you know? right. Yeah. People break down these front ends, tear up all the time these drive lines. And but we're gonna pull that sucker out right there. I love it. That's what's coming out. Listen, easy cheesy. And here's the jack over there that should jack up the cab. If it don't, we can take the TYM and yeah, that's right. Kind of pull it over. Yeah, it'll be easy enough. Yeah, right here's the jack. The pins are already out, so. Look at that. Just waiting on us. All right, I've got full. Here's the handle. You behave yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. I've got a, uh, I got all batteries in my impacts. I brought big wrenches. Shoot, we're good, bro. And if somebody's watching the video that's running a G3 that needs parts, like doors. This door is flaky on the paint. But it is a good door, look at that. You just don't see doors mm -hmm. that's open like that, got all that, got that in it. Even got the fuse oh, dash yeah. cover on, got a key. Yeah, yeah. That's three dollars. Just that's a key. Doggone right. Yeah. Yeah, there's people don't realize that there's still value in a lot of this yeah. stuff. You got all the covers and protectors, hose protectors. You're right, this would have been a good one for somebody. It, to... it, it, it really would have. They just couldn't yeah see past but they did break the handle off oh well forget that that's, yeah. that's three dollar discount yeah okay all right let let's me go get track cab let's see if this cab is tip oh yeah okay first. well let's do that see what we do here not looking good for our home team oh wait a minute i hear something I heard something, but I no. did hear to something too. But I was just wondering. <laughs> Last time we used a uh, the winch on the on the old dirge. Yeah. Yes, we did. But I could probably stick my fork. Well, what's got you? Is, of course, we can break the the lines loose and the oil will come out. But that's what we'll do. We let's undo that. Let me let me hook a chain and you kind of go on back the other with side. It. I don't want to hit that door. Okay. I know how you are. Listen, I'm I'm a bull in a china shop, ain't I? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
see why I didn't want him to put the fork on the side of the gab. Noise. I'm just going to turn my wheel that way. I don't know. We'll see. See if you can flip it. Hey, hey, just flip it on top. Hank, can you open that door? What'd you say? Can you open that door? Open it? Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I think we got it. All right, pull it tight. Huh? Pull it tight. Pull the chain tight. I just don't have enough room. I don't have enough room to get this way. That would be ideal. Yeah, it would. But what I'll do is, I, it should work. I should, I'll come forward and turn this way. It'll probably work. We get multiple chains, I can get on the other side of this. I was going to go, that's where I was headed to get a chain. Because you really can't get over there either. Yeah, let me, we'll take this off. I'll get on this side of it and we'll just pull it over the Franklin. We should have, that should work. You know?
the, the brace is off. It's okay. I, 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 I got it on this end. Come on up. I'm gonna let you bump it there. I got it fouled on the other side with a chain. And now you can just pick it up and ease it down with your fork. Okay. First, th first thing we got to do is tilt it back a little bit where I can get some slack in the chain. Okay. So this ain't gonna work, ain't gonna work cause you gotta do that. And well, I can I, I can get up top there. Okay, do that and then kind of just ease it down so it just don't. I got you. It's just hung up a little bit. Hank, it's, it's free, but I guess those bolts and bushings just got it. They don't do no more than that? No, it goes all the way over. It's just probably those bushings are so tight, got it mm. healed. Uh, do you want me to uh, push on this side? Come around here and push it under here? No, I, I wanted you to be where you could kind of catch it and not let it just bam over. No, I, I mean, I understand I, what you're saying, but. See if you can just get back up here and just kind of rock it a little okay. bit. It's just, uh, that thing will fall and knock your slam out. Just see if you can rock it a little bit with your forks. Okay. What about me and you trying to it's come, When it comes, Hank, I'm Listen. telling you. I, I, did you, have you not seen these? Yeah, I have. <laughs> hey, get me to that part right there. Okay. chain come unhooked. Huh? I wasn't over here making sure my chain. Hey, but you know, I mean, it's fine. We can leave it resting on the tractor for now, can't we? We we can, Hank. We sure can if you want to. Yeah. Yes, we can. All righty. But the only, pro the only issue is once we need the tractor to lift the transmission out, we'll have to do something with the cab. You just kind of ease it on down. Oh, we got some blockage or something? We got plenty of blocks here once we once we get all this. Let me tell you uh, something, that jarred me. Huh? That was a ride, wasn't it? Nah. Wasn't as bad as that telehandler you took on uh, dropping the Ford Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, Hank. You always wanted to be a mechanic. There you go. Have at it, right? But this this is what's coming out. This is a hydraulic pump. We'll disconnect that. That's the uh, probably the pressure pump on this side. That won't go. I know these bolts hold it in. I think you got to just get under there and do undo the drive lines. And I think these are the two mounts that come out and take the hoses and electronics off. And it should, you know, we should be out of here by lunch. Okay. All right. See what it does on that. Now, for all the people out there that's probably screaming, don't do that. It's a waste. Y'all not strong enough to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I 
wrenches might be easier. Yeah. It was just a thought. A cordless drill with a fit number 15. 15? Let me try 15 and Is what it is. What do you want to do with all the bolts? I got that bucket right here somewhere I just brought. It's going to be, it's going to be a standard, but it might hold it enough to, you know what I mean? in the world why would anybody <laughs> well they put the design that right there well I, that looks aftermarket <laughs> yeah we still need that for the other side yeah these right here yeah okay top and bottom what size are those i wonder now this right here if i remember correctly this keeps the parking brake maybe this is what we do to undo yeah, the parking uh, brakes all right let me pick up on it pick up All right, I'll pull it out. All right. All right. Does that go with it? No. Yeah, that, that half inch impact driver ain't no joke. No. As it don't do this one. <laughs> <laughs> It's too far down for you to. Yeah. I can't get I, I know we can't turn it, Hank. Let me see if I got a swivel. Okay. I got one. I think. I'm, I, I know I got one. I know I got one in the truck. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Too? Yeah, the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Ow. You know, that acupuncture really works. I feel better. <laughs> uh. Oh. Sir. Can you hand me. Yes, sir. I don't know what size that is. Like a inch, you know. Let me just crescent wrench first. Let me just see how tight they are. Oh, that wasn't tight. You, if you want to sock it with a, the uh, drill. Well, I don't know what size that is, Hank. Let me get under there. Too late for being careful. <laughs> I know. Good Lord, we got his hands right under here, just holding this thing up. You want me to give you a block to put under it? Well, it's got some, but it'll still squish me. Pull this transmission, it'd be fun, they say. <laughs> Two hours, they say. Everyone who they are. Mm -hmm. Don't forget my crescent wrench. I'm, not, I'm, not I'm just saying. I'm not done under here. All right, can I have a... Yes. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Where's the oh, other this. end at? I don't really know. That's why the hose is here. Probably coming to this. I got one hose that's still connected here, but it might be off here. What hose is connected? There's one hose right there that's connected. No. Right here. Oh yeah, that's the one that's... But it uh, might be disconnected here. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the one that's spinning. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Well, Wiley. Well, what? Yeah, no, we just need to take this, whatever those engine bolts were, 30 maybe? Where's that big three quarter inch stuff? Hey. Yeah. Can you hand me that uh, half inch uh, ratchet? Yeah. Thank you. Let me tell you what's crazy. What? It's how easy it is with three quarter inch and you just drop down to a half inch and you can't hardly do it. All right. How can I do it with my hand but it won't do it? Okay, dokie. Let's make this puppy happen. All right, now we gotta put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can beat the time. <laughs> yeah. Three hours. Three hours. He was right. A couple hours would have yeah. it out. If I had some help, <laughs> it probably would take a couple hours. <laughs> I tell you what, it's TYM, the man, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. Lifesaver. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna put this in your uh, bed of your truck and mm -hmm. go eat chow? Yeah. All right. Are you going to drink the milkshake or we're going to work? I know it's your birthday. <coughs> it's your birthday. Get crazy. I'm going to drink milkshake. Then we got the engine out of this. Well, we didn't actually take the engine out of this one, but we've donated it. We've donated the transmission. And today, we're going to try to take that rear differential out of this thing. I am going to help Wiley as soon as I get done with the milkshake here. I bet they say, man, that tarp is loud, all that.
Franklin. Well, I'm going in. Okay. So good. How good it is. Okay. Can you hand me like a seven eighths? The good news is, is it's just one one hose. And the other good news is it broke pretty easy. There's what we're up against right there. But we gotta take this U joint out, undo that one hose, and then you got six bolts on both sides to take off. Hey, I'm gonna go get the liquid wrench and start spraying these nuts now. Okay. All right. So, Wiley, uh -huh. for breakfast I had two donuts. For lunch, I had a Cuban sandwich oh. and another donut. Then you brought me a milkshake. <laughs> my, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Well, this thing is dirt, that really bringing some oil out of it. I'm we'll trying not to get you eyeballs with this here. These are the six bolts Wiley was talking about earlier. I wish I'd done this hose last. <laughs> That's self-critiquing, ain't it? Yes, it is. Well, I got it. Follow us on our other platforms at Hamiltonville Farm. So we're gonna cut this in half? Or well, we're gonna try to take it off without the fire, <laughs> without the fire wrench. But I have sewed this right here, this back plus the valve bank and the winch cable. All right. This winch cable, it might not be good. But I just want to get it prepared that we can get when we're... That's uh, right. He sends a truck, we get a machine down here and load him up and send it back on. It's going all the way to Kentucky, up to Nebo, Kentucky. Nebo, Kentucky. All right. Well, I guess the only thing we need to do now is get it separated. That's right. You got to keep them separated. What song know. was that? I don't know. What you getting? That probably that Dewalt uh, half inch drive and the sockets and all that yeah. get us a long way and then the uh, wrenches the hand wrenches you got yeah yeah I think we can get I think we can get to that point I I brought a uh, a, a BVA uh, I brought a BVA hydraulics twenty ton porta power if we need that to separate up. I may end up showing this more. We've actually used this in a in another video about um, the cotton picker. But man, let me tell you something. This right here is the bee's knees, dude. BVA hydraulics, and they make some of the best hydraulic stuff. I mean, they make presses and all that good stuff. So we may end up using using that. We'll see. Let me get the tools out of the toolbox and we will go for it i thought to myself i'll just jackknife my truck so i can access the tailgate but i didn't realize i'm gonna park in a hole look <laughs> <laughs> i need to <laughs> i need a step ladder or something i didn't realize i was gonna park in a hole i can't my God. i know man anyway so yeah we'll have to you whip will that you thing whip? around pretty good there, Hank. Will you, uh, thank you. Will you uh, throw that cord over just a little sure. bit? Thanks, sir. It's easy peasy. Yeah. That brand new one. Yes, sir. What else am I looking for? Batteries, probably. All the batteries should be charged. That right there is not a light box. No, that's all those impact sockets. 
I don't think we're gonna need anything in here. Don't forget, you guys wanna send me a sticker. These are either businesses or YouTubers. So check these guys out. And if you have a if you have a sticker you want to send me, my P.O. box is in the uh, description. But I appreciate that. Now I will say this, while this this will be a first for me. I've never done something like this. Well, been a while for you, huh? The pin will go uh, come up this way. What pin exactly are we talking about? The center pin. Okay. And I'm hoping what we're gonna have to do is stabilize this with some of these fine timbers. All right. Jack it up, set it down on there. Okay. And the back too, and then hopefully get it to a point where it's not much stretch. You know, no. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know what the angle is. Okay. Anyway, just try to pop them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Super power. That's right. It's too cold. I got a cold out here. Speaking of cold, I went to get my vice grips and my crescent wrench, and look at that. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna warm them things up. <laughs> you know it's cold, then, buddy. <laughs> you know it's cold. Oh my goodness gracious! I had some mo. Where is Nebo, Kentucky at? Um, the viewers for Kentucky is probably saying, <laughs> I think it's right uh, around where the Land of Lakes are. Okay. You've heard of the Land of Lakes? Oh, I love their butter. Like of uh, a. <laughs> Ain't that the butter? Land between the lakes. Land between the lakes. Yeah, land of lakes land is like lakes. Min yeah. Minnesota land or somewhere. Between the lakes. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I like I land somewhere. I, I think it's somewhere like in north west Kentucky. I think. Yeah. There you go. Maybe you can put a map on the. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Insert a map picture. Insert a map. Put a the, picture. Look, yeah. There's Nebo, Kentucky. Nebo, right opposite right. of where he said. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, we'll take these hoses off, lay these out of the way. Uh, take this cable off right here. Go, get started. Uh, That's I, a I big wrench. Yeah, it's you in got the... some, though. Yeah. Hank is getting warmer. <laughs> our, our Crestology. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Man. Hey, there's a guy sending me Crestology from Canada. Is he? Yeah, he was. He said he found it in his shop. He's like a... He builds well, race... this ain't going to get it. No. Nah. He builds race cars, and he said he had one laid in his shop box. Well, good. Yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. And then, of course, I got my keychain uh, adjustable wrench too. Yeah, we can. So you get need something these bigger. All laid yeah. All right, let me go get the wrenches. You know what size it is, or do I need to bring my big one? Because <laughs> well, we thought we had the right wrench. We disappointed our viewers by you know not going straight to the crescent wrench. Mm. Uh, you want that little? Uh, I thought we was going to build something to go on the end of that thing. Oh, look at there. There you go. Oh, it's coming off. Well. Deep subject. There you go. What about that? Now we turned the whole... Oh, oh Steve, great. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yeah, that's aggravating, that. Yeah, it's worse than aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough. Do you have another crescent wrench that, that's big? Oh. You probably couldn't put two on there anyway. Where's your, is your hammer here or up there? The little small metal one? Yeah. Yeah, it's in toolbox. I'll go get it, dude. All right, I'll be working on this. So let me know in the comments if you guys like this kind of on the field maintenance type stuff that we've been doing. So let me know if you like this kind of stuff because this is kind of what we do during the week type stuff. Just needed a little bit of help. All you need is an engineering degree. Persuasion, almost persuaded. I was almost persuaded. Okay, I'll stop now. Please, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 
the viewers can't really appreciate it unless they're right here. <laughs> That's right. So, so. Uh, they, they know. Well, man, I wish we could hang out with Hank and Wiley and listen to Hank sing all day. Yeah. I know that's what they're thinking. I know it is too, kind of. Don't, don't make a comment saying you don't think that. Be like, man, I wish I could listen to Hank sing all day. <laughs> I think we've ruined this wrench. No, that thing ain't long. What are you talking about? That, thing... <laughs> that d wall ain't wrecked. Yeah. Well, there ain't much room there to do nothing with. I think you, I think it worked there. Ow. Uh, Ow. Ow. I'm sorry. I got some mud all in the truck. Ow. Ow. <laughs> now that you broke it loose, I'll take over. <laughs> Man, that hurt. Yeah, I bet so. Yeah. Blood, thank you. You ain't a mechanic unless you're bleeding. So let's see. You, you're falling off dump trucks. You're breaking hands on the dump, uh, skidders. Man, you're going to be... I mean, here's the thing. Y'all don't know this, but Wiley's actually 42 years old. <laughs> I've had a rough life. He's had a rough life. Uh, you dropped some jelly on your shirt right there. <laughs> That's a strawberry jelly. <laughs> yeah. I like it, strawberry jelly. <laughs> That's the worst camera shot in the entire world. I I was, I was watching you instead of the camera, and I like had it panned <laughs> on the floor. So, sorry about that, viewers. <laughs> so you're saying he got it? Yeah. Ray Char to take your word for that. <laughs> Ray Charles over here working the camera. So that so the valve yeah. body separates right here. Yeah. Is that so? We're just taking these three spools off. No, we're taking the whole valve body, but that that separates. Uh... In other words, we can. We can get the hoses out of the way. I want to move the back half. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yep. If you want to get on the other side, I'll, I'll shove them through this. Okay. You know, we replaced that shifter cable in that other, um, the other video. Yeah. Uh, South yeah. Alabama, maybe. And uh, anyway, I've learned that that's called a Heim joint from the viewers. The viewers said that that's what that's called because we couldn't figure out what it was called. It's indeed called a hind joint. The old hind. I want the same thing that done the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Probably. It sounds German, don't it? It didn't have to come off. I just tell you, it, it must be just, I don't know. I thought this was the winch control cable. It is. So you was right. What's this cable right here? Does it need to? That's a wire harness. It's gonna go with the cab. Uh, so the easy part's over with. Yeah, the easy part's over with. Yeah. yeah, but we're shipping this valve bank also. Uh, the guy's gonna. He had a cable tail section or something on the back of his, and he's just gonna made this up with right. his tractor. Nice. It, yeah, worked out very good. I hope it works out good as good for him as it did for me. Yeah, yeah. So the donor tractor is still giving. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, we're gonna take the radiator out today. Got a fella making sure the radiator fit his machine. Yeah. I sent him the serial number so he could do the year models. A lot of a lot of people hunt parts then. Basically what I have left is just a couple of rear ends, some cylinders and a couple of a few pieces of cab parts. And this one'll be in the books. All right. Wiley, I know you're going to think I'm a...
hammer bill. I got this side for it. Just a pin, Hank? Uh, no, it's like three something others. You got that rag? Uh, it's three. That's uh, three more bolts. In it? Yeah. But I mean, I don't know if that. You I don't, don't know if they got to come out? You're right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, they don't look like they do now that I'm looking at it. It looks like that pin is just. I mean, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cap. That's got to come off. This does? Yeah. That wouldn't be on there if it didn't. That's got to hold that cap on there. So this is the cap? Yeah, got to be. This? Yeah. So are these not two separate pieces? I wonder how long it would take somebody to find two men squished under the skitter. <laughs> <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, the oh. Yeah. I got that torque more plier in the truck. I've been you wanting to just use. want to use it? I've been wanting to use it. Well, I think it's time. Let me try the right socket. <laughs> that was just a little bit. Let's get the mortar plier. <laughs> okay. I've had this thing forever now. Nico, Nico Pro 03715 Bravo. I'll leave a link in the description for Amazon. The input's a half inch drive. Output, three quarter inch drive. Uh oh, it's three to one. Uh, 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 that's a three quarter inch drive. Hey, are you serious? I'm a knucklehead. That ain't gonna work, is it? Mm -mm. I don't have a. Well, I don't have an adapter. Oh, I got an. No, it's a half inch to three quarter. I mean, it's an inch to three quarter on my air gun. The only adapter I got with me. Well, that was no good, was it? Oh, this. Seem better. <laughs> <laughs> you got the half inch pull handle and the yeah, and your cheater pot. Yeah, hold on. I found it. I found the adapter. So without a cheater pipe, you think you're gonna be able to? No, it, you got to put the you got to put the, the input goes on to the. So just put that socket on there. Now you need a half inch drive ratchet to go that. This ain't do this don't do nothing for you. The ratchet goes in here. Well, you can hold that then. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if you've ever done it with an impact driver. Maybe that'll work. Mm -hmm. I've always done it with a ratchet. Well, where is your pull handle? <laughs> so we fouled up the torque multiplier. And as he puts pressure on it, it actually turns the whole pin. Y'all can see that over here? So that means that that means those bolts don't come out. That means that pin just drops out. <laughs> no, no way that center pin just drops out. No way. It, it can't. It can because it, with pressure, you take that snap ring off the top and apply pressure down. You press it out like a bearing or something. Yeah. I bet you that's exactly what it is. There's nothing. You can see there's nothing holding. Uh, oh, there's a snap ring right here. Yeah, and it's going to be smaller coming through here. This has got to come off. I don't think that has to come off. I think the snap ring comes off, and then the whole snap ring comes off top and bottom, and the whole thing comes down, presses out. I don't think that's got nothing to do with it. it you're, you're exactly, you were right when you said a while ago that you, you can't do that in the field. You can't put, you can't t torque that to 1,200 foot-pounds in the field. You know what I mean? Or how, you know what I'm saying. Like if you were replacing that in the field with a ratchet, and you, you couldn't put enough force on it to hold hey, it. Hey, that's not going all the way through. That's not. That, that, that snap ring is holding it, and that's just not going to go all the way through this whole thing. That, all well, let me see if it's turning on top, and that doesn't answer that question. T turn it again. Well, I got to read the... 
I got to reset. This is coming off, Hank. The bolt's coming off. Okay. Yeah, because it's not turning up top. Because it, it, it just come off. Oh, you're saying the socket yeah. came off? Yeah. I got you. All right. We, uh, we've we reached a snag. <laughs> shocking, isn't it's it? Shocking. So what we're going to do is get it as far as we can. So we'll try to take off the cylinders here. The problem is these bolts, we don't have nothing to take the bolts off with to separate the pins. And then, um, so they got to come out. So we'll either A, find get some air and run that Arctic Cat air gun on it. Or B, bring a cutting torch and cut it off. The the front half will keep the back half yeah. for the customer or whatever. Yeah, that would be... Uh... That would be the easiest thing to do because it wouldn't take much to run that torch in there and on the other side and that that's thing right. is, and that's just a little bit of small that's right, right there at the last mm -hmm. and that's ready to set and i have got a torch and all that yeah wiley's over there looking for a bucket to get water in before we start to torch on this thing but we got a guest over there y'all hear him sounds like old basset hound of some sort don't it that one's already got water in it. Yeah. Thank you, honey. Oh. Just scholarly, not much of a gentleman. <laughs> Need a cup or something to, some type of throwing device, some type of splashing device. <laughs> All right, we will uh, look for a um, cup or something. Figure it out. Had some unsweet tea at lunch. There might be left in it, there is, might there? Right the opposite way, remember, on gas. Yeah. I knew it was a reason why. <laughs> yeah. I'm struggling. I got one of them tools with my welder set up. It's a. It Multi-purpose. Yeah. I got one also. I just couldn't find it. Oh, let me see if my crescent wrench it. We had a viewer send us a crescent wrench here. Let's see if it opens up wide enough for this. If I doubt. Nope, not quite. Oh well. If y'all got some snail mail y'all want to send to us, our PO box is in the description. We get a lot of stuff. I've gotten several crescent wrenches, lots of stickers for the Toolbox. Is this from that scrap yard that we did down in? Yeah. Kynard, maybe? That's gonna be a bummer. What you want, about, about 20? Alright, not, not 20, uh, about, about 10? Uh, I can't remember. We'll run it 10, see how it works. Yeah. What you doing? Hang on. Hang on one more time. Right. Well, come on. That's like a new one, isn't it? You got it on? Yes, you do. Pretty thick metal there. Yeah. Pretty yeah. yeah. fine. Right, hold on, Wiley. I, I had to back the camera up and get the sparks from over here. Yeah, I got you.
that section cut. Now we'll cut the bottom. Or you gonna cut the top on the other side now? Well, I just got it where I could get my torch head, and I'm trying to. I'm sure that ain't. I'm trying to cut me a gap where I put my torch head all around. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Scapel. bit of difference in those two. Just a tick. Consumables? Ain't that what they call them in the welding business? Uh, Sounds good. Whatever. I see where I got it. Those wasn't. All right. Try it again. <laughs> It's gonna come out. Maybe. Yeah, you're getting close. Is that dry shaft? Yeah, you look all the way through. Let me look. There it is. She gone now, ain't she? And the top too? Huh? The top as well? Yeah. How about that? That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, buddy. Oh, you can see Wiley's truck down there. The semi is coming around through here somewhere. I heard it, but oh, there it is. I can see see the white semi through there with a cat. It's got a telehandler on the back of it. So they'll take that off here in a sec. All right, Wiley says they're going to unload it here. I agree with that. <laughs> Got a little bit of oil coming out of it. Yeah, it, it bleeds by 
Yeah. 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 the chain on this yes. fork okay yes. that was the most dangerous part right there. i know let me i'm gonna stand right here so you fall on me i could break your fall you such a f <laughs> don't touch my hiney no I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna touch the your viewers hiney. are going to be <laughs> they're gonna start wondering they're gonna be witnessing this <laughs> Got that yeah, thing on there now. <laughs> Maybe tying a chain through here and through that fair leaf and just see if that kind of. Where's the machine going to be? I, I guess. As best as I way? guess so. The best I can get there. Okay. Do, if it'll make it around, you've got room to maneuver get, there. If you can get around to it. Well, I got a can. force to move stuff around with. That's no doubt about that. Um. I came this way with the tractor. You know? Let me see. Let me see if I can get it on this side. And if I can't. All right. Can you get over my your Can you come over my fork? Just that one? Yeah. I can. Okay. Well, I wish I had more cameras. So we're I should probably run it. We should probably chain that boom up first. You got another, let me go get another chain and I'll chain the boom up. That way it quits compressing. And that, that's gonna work. I, we just gotta chain that uh, boom, I mean the me, arch. Watch that uh, oil. That oil's coming out of the pipes. Every time you compress those cylinders, it's coming out of the hoses over there. Yeah, just watch it, don't let it get you. Oh, we got you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, hey, hey, let me see if I, don't move, let's get a jack or something to, don't, don't move, Wiley. I've got a bottle jack. Oh, Lee, Pete. I, uh. Look, let's take a chain yeah. and hook to that and that. Let me just try to get it back off this thing. Okay, let me go get a chain.
Can we get closer where you can pick up? Gonna have to tie it short so we can yeah. pick up. telling how much that costs. It's all right. Jeez. <laughs> uh, no, hold on. Let me move these plastic buckets. Wiley, what I would do is I would turn your wheels that way and I would back up because that's going to, I feel like that's going to swing, don't you think? I put, I'm pushing, I'm trying to push it out from me some. The rear, the rear is a lot heavier than the front. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Get it. Huh? Yeah, I gotta go get some wrenches. Got two more hoses to take on here, out the rear end, and then we should be able to get it separated or clear. I should say it's already separated, but. new cowling for that thing huh oh he needs a new cowling for that thing <coughs> yeah is that all that's right it could have been worse it says oh it could have been but it says cat so it's high maybe we throw a blue tarp like they did on the yeah. FEMA I just hate he did that to his own equipment it's amazing <laughs> he don't care about it <laughs> oh mercy Shouldn't those be over the fork or no? Oh. I'm not sure that's the right. What is it doing? I got it hooked wrong, Jimmy. Eventually it will, yeah. I got it hooked wrong. You gotta hook it back to that other piece. Come on down with that hook. I don't know how much that rear end weighs, but that telehandler can pick up 8,000 pounds and it's struggling. So we're gonna see if it gets, uh, this guy, maybe those are 7,000 pound axles on this guy's 16 foot trailer. A little heavier than it's probably. All right, the median of the mines over there, Thank trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're definitely going to be loaded. But those are probably 7,000 pound axles. You know, a lot of comments about you could, you should have done this, you should have done that. And probably a lot of you have a lot of good comments. But if we could have got perpendicular to the piece that we were taking off, our problems would have been solved. 
or if we would have come in this way, the hindsight's 2020. If you will, Jimmy, I hook, I do the hooking and stacking. Yeah. If you'll just get on there and, and try to get right here. We'll move this first. Yeah. If we can run it down here out of the way, then come here and I'll throw these blocks on you so we can make a path for him. There's anything, I'm, I'll been say, I can shove them blocks all over with that bone. No, Probably. it's, it's uh, well, you, you ain't going to be able to move it over. I'll get them to you. That's Eric. That's got it. That sucker ain't light, is it? Mm -mm. <laughs> So now it'd been another no he's good there. It'd been another coat of paint on that head and not made it. Oh. Reckon the no shake still good? You skid, wouldn't you? Let's get this one, we'll be done with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, set them over there. What's all about doing is taking that chain, let Jimmy get right here, and get the backhoe set up there to help. He don't have to pick the whole load up. Come right here, let him pull up there and back under. There you go. What you think? Is that as high as you can go? Okay, okay. Come on up, Jimmy. You look good. Straight, that grapples. Come the other way, come the other way. Okay, hang on just a second. My prediction yeah. is he's going to get stuck going over that hill. You was that you was uh, spinning out, wasn't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If the axles don't break. Right what do you want to do? I, we're just trying to figure out the weight. You let's let's back him up another foot. Just we're. Jimmy, come back and set it down, see what it looks like. Pull it back to you, Jimmy. When we Maybe. let that undo the chain, okay. Okay. 
All right, we're going to do the chain, and the grapple's going to lay down, and that's going to put some weight on you, too. They need a way safe hitch. Jimmy, hang on. Pick it back up. I don't even know if we need it, but I just thought we might. Okay. Hey, Jimmy, pick back up. What's the weight look like? Of course, you know he can. Because he's going to have to pull that dodge out of that hole. He blow the hose. The backhoe did? Tilt it. Tilt it. Well, the backhoe blow the hose. Come this way. All right, hold. You unhook. So we've. Uh, Let's get out of there on the road. See what you need. We to destroyed a hundred and five thousand dollar cat. Blow the backhoe hose. <laughs> yeah, just over. Just then we come now out behind you. Now gonna fall out of this dodge. <laughs> That actually don't look bad on the no, tires. No, it don't look bad. I'm just shocked. Don't look bad at all. No, it ain't bad at all. I hope a pretty young pass Alabama DMT. <laughs> <laughs> Take the back rows, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the lift capacity on that is 8,800 pounds. So it's probably 12,000 pounds, I would think. So it's not overloaded. Thank you very much, sir. Be careful. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Take care, bud. Thank you. Safe travels. You're going to be on YouTube now. Don't, don't blame us when you get famous and they say, hey. <laughs> If I wreck, I'll be I, I seen you. I seen you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it make good TV, but don't do that. <laughs> All right. We're gonna load the front end of that onto a semi, and then we'll call this project done. Huh? Okay. There it is. He gone. You guys take care. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Links for merch and discount codes are in the description box below.